I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Wednesday, November the 22nd, brought to you in part by Macrosin by Bimeda. Granted the same label claims as Draxon by the FDI with identical comparisons, except only Macrosin is made in North America. For more information, go to Macrosin.com. No news is good news. Uh, it's been pretty quiet on the front uh, with, uh, of course, your analysts not making any waves early this holiday week, and and uh, the board was up pretty good on Monday. It was off a little bit on Tuesday. Uh, nothing major. Uh, we haven't seen the algorithm start spinning out of control or anything. And uh, the longer we go without any big news like that and nothing major uh, selling off the board, uh, then our, our cash uh, feeder cattle buyers start getting into the groove and they start buying cattle uh, right along and competing with each other. We've got uh, farmer feeders uh, back into the feeder cattle market now. Most of them all have all uh, finished up with harvest. They've, they've blown off their combines, power washed them and put them to bed. And so uh, they're getting back into the market. They've got a bunch of cheap corn at home, uh, a lot of silage in the country, guys. And uh, so you're starting to see some of those orders take place. And we saw that in Green City, Missouri on Tuesday. I'm going to tell you all about that market here at, uh, towards the end of the report. But uh, uh, we haven't really seen uh, our fat cattle trade take place yet. But steady bids, uh, steady with last week, which was lower, of course, but steady bids with last week came out early on Tuesday and, and didn't really uh, uh, get anybody to fire. Uh, this is a holiday week, but your Packers are buying for a non-holiday week. And historically, uh, the week after Thanksgiving is, is a big harvest week. Uh, they're they're going to have a lot of demand here for uh, you know Christmas parties and things like that. The, the Christmas holiday demand is starting right away. And they need to get as much product as they can. So they're wanting to get a lot bought. Uh, of course, they never want to tip their hand to how bad they want it. But if the Packers don't get something done here on Wednesday, I would imagine that uh, they're going to have a hard time buying anything as cheap as they did last week uh, on Friday. So uh, I would, I almost hope we don't get anything done here on Wednesday. Then on Friday, I, I would imagine that your uh, cattle feeders that sell negotiated are going to want at least 180 live and maybe 285 dressed. So this is an opportunity to gain some ground here on a holiday week, Packers buying for a non-holiday week. Uh, we did see, of course, that big uh, uh, yearling special at Joplin Regional Stockyards on Monday. Uh, then on Tuesday, they had 10,300 head on their primetime livestock video, which was also a yearling special. And, and your, your uh, prices were pretty comparable to what happened on, on Monday through the ring. Uh, we did have some cattle sell out front. One load of 850 pound steers sold for February delivery at 229. Uh, which is about what's going on right now. So uh, we're not expecting uh, the big premiums that we've been seeing out front here uh, for the last several months, but we're not seeing anything selling off either. But uh, if you're looking for some bred cows and bred heifers uh, in the Northern Plains, top quality, St. Orange Livestock in St. Orange, South Dakota has got a big special bred cow and heifer sale this Saturday, November the 25th gonna have about 3,000 head on offer and uh, and I was talking with Justin Tupper uh, here on Tuesday and he said that uh, you know he's he's having a harder time selling those than he thought he thought it would be crazy people coming in uh, wanting to buy bread cows and heifers and he's had a few specials of course uh, he also sells the bulk of his uh, volume for the whole year in about six weeks uh, and so he's he's got big runs, you know, every two or three days there at St. Orange Livestock, and that's extreme uh, western South Dakota there. But uh, he said, you know, they're I mean they're selling okay, but it's not gangbusters. Not seeing any new high prices there. Uh, likely if people are going to wait until they get closer to green grass before they start blowing their brains out. But uh, 
with as many people that's got silage that they could feed these cows and things like that uh, we both thought that maybe they would be a little bit more uh, attractive to buyers than what they've been but don't forget about that special at St. Orange, South Dakota uh, this Saturday the 25th and it's on dvauction.com you can view and bid the sale right there talk about your board on Tuesday December live cattle futures were down 47 cents at 175 even February down 57 cents at 176.07 your back months were down 50 cents to up to unchanged so it wasn't terrible uh, actually not bad at all there uh, feeder cattle for January down more, down a dollar fifty-two uh, to twenty-eight thirty-two. March was down one hundred seven at two thirty-one twenty-two. Your back months were also down, some of them not nearly as much, down forty-five to down one hundred seven. December corn Chicago Board of Trade was up a half cent a bushel at four seventy. January beans up ten cents at thirteen seventy-seven and a quarter. Kansas City hard red winter wheat for December up five and a quarter cent at six fifteen and three quarters. Your fat cattle trade, and I said there wasn't a whole lot went on, and there sure wasn't, but did have a little bit of direct trade that was recorded before two o'clock, the deadline to turn that stuff into mandatory price reporting. Iowa had nine hundred sales uh, on Tuesday with live sales from one seventy six to one seventy seven. Nebraska about two hundred and fifty is all at 280 and I did hear in the afternoon that the 280 was being bid uh, broadly so if, if somebody wanted to sell some uh, cattle dressed at 280 and 282 was the tops we had last week it was from 278 to 282 last week so the 280 is not that big a deal but it's a, a strong steady there and if folks wanted to sell some cattle like that it was readily available on Tuesday afternoon Kansas only a hundred head at 176 and Texas nothing so far this week but like I said if, if they don't get something done here on Wednesday uh, I would accept fri I expect Friday will have some higher prices come in but uh, did have the big brick and mortar sale and it was lighter because of the holiday week also but Yankton South Dakota Stockman's livestock market there uh, they had 1100 in overnight 1600 head of fats total uh, the conventional fed cattle sold mostly steady from 175 to 180 75 and a lot of those cattle through uh, Yankton sell barn there selling higher than what the the direct market is in the country with that 175 to 180 75 uh, your drug free or non implanted cattle selling from 178 all the way up to 185 50 the 185.50 was on 65 head of black Wagyu steers that weighed 1605. So uh, there's still demand out there for cattle, especially for quality. Uh, your box beef cutout values were kind of mixed. Uh, you know, they're just kind of in the doldrums there. And like I said, I, I'm a little suspect of that because uh, the packers tell us exactly what they want us to know about box beef cutout values. Choice cuts were up six cents at 295.81. Selects down 218 at 268.77. Your slaughter, 251,000 through the first two days of the week. That's exactly the same as the previous week, and 7,000 less than the same week a year ago. Talk about what else is going on. If you're looking for fast and efficient cattle financing, especially during these turbulent times, you need to find some guys that know uh, what they're talking about and know the industry. Check out Legend Bank and in particular at Legend Bank uh, find Greg Brooks or Ricky Taylor. Uh, both of them specialize in cattle financing. In fact they're the uh, made Legend Bank the largest cattle financing uh, bank there in North Texas but they can help you anywhere in Texas and anywhere in Oklahoma. Uh, get a hold of them there at legend.bank Remember, Legend Bank is a member of FDIC. All loans are subject to credit approval, and they are an equal housing lender. Uh, check them out, legend.bank. Let's talk about your feeder cattle market, your real-time index on DV auction. Late in the day on Tuesday, sitting at 226.95, up 34 cents. So we've gained both days this week. Uh, and then 
Uh, Monday's big Joplin special, the Yearling special, was mostly to blame for uh, the gains that we saw in the RT on Monday. Green City livestock market was responsible for a lot of the continuous gains that we saw on Tuesday. Your latest CME cash feeder cattle index is actually a little bit below the RTI for a first time in a long time at 226.76. Talk about, uh, or actually I want to mention that I'm not going to be uh, visiting with you anymore this holiday week. Uh, we try to have something out every business day, but here, not going to have any fa anything for Thanksgiving morning or Friday morning. Won't talk to you again till Monday morning, so you guys have a great Thanksgiving. There's a lot to be thankful for. The cattle market is really good uh, in historical times. It, it's near the top of where it's ever been. Uh, we're less than 10 bucks away of all-time record uh, fat cattle prices and, and right in the groove on calf and yearling prices. So don't forget to say your thanks there before you dive into the stuffing on Thursday. Let's talk about uh, your sales that happened on Tuesday. Ozarks Regional Stockyard in West Plains, Missouri typically has a high volume sale every Tuesday. Only had a thousand head because of the holiday uh, through the ring. Another 329 head uh, through their in-house video they do with help from DB Auction. But there was too few uh, on hand to really call a market. Uh, my buddy Dan Hill said that the, the offering was pretty, pretty plain and it can get pretty plain there at West Plains. Uh, it only had one lot that was larger than 25 heads, so uh, you're not going to be able to call a market on that. But don't forget, this uh, Friday, uh, the Weanvac special uh, is going to be happening at Ozarks Regional Stockyards in West Plains. Uh, it's actually not this Friday, it's next Friday, uh, December the 1st. And that Weanvac special, they will have some fancy cattle there at West Plains. There'll be a lot of condition to them coming out of those rocks down there in the Ozarks. Uh, and those will be nice cattle all weaned and vaccinated for you Friday, December the 1st. And then a special replacement cow and bull sale on Friday, December the 8th. Both of those sales will be broadcast on dvauction.com. Call in ahead to the office, get approved, sit there in the comfort of your home and buy cattle at, uh, at uh, West Plains, Missouri. Uh, talk about uh, your uh, national beef wire stick out sale of the day. It was Green City Livestock Marketing, marketing a DV auction broadcaster there. Uh, they had 2,350 head uh, and they always have a big Thanksgiving special. They'll have, uh, they have their yearlings uh, before Thanksgiving then they'll have a calf special right after. So they had the yearling special on Tuesday. Uh, they'll have the calf special on Friday. And really, really top quality cattle, and that's extreme north central Missouri. You can throw a rock to Iowa from there, guys. But uh, no recent comparison, especially on the kind of sale that they had on Tuesday. But you look at this automated mark report, and you see it's well tested in several weight groups. 331 head of seven weight steers averaged 736 at 249.85. 316 head of eight weight steers in Green City averaged 8.32 at 238.61 and 337 head of 950 pound steers had a weighted average price of 229.49. Look at a couple heifer weight groups. 360 head of six weight heifers averaged 6.40 at 246.52 and 393 head of seven weight heifers in Green City, Missouri had a weighted average weight of 7.39. Weighted average price of two thirty three fifty two. Give you some other quotes. How about Riverton Livestock Auction in Riverton, Wyoming? They sold a long string of light heifers. Two hundred and sixty four head of heifer calves weighed four twenty six and bring two ninety nine seventy five. I thought that was pretty impressive on a heifer calf quote. Uh, Kimball Livestock Exchange in Kimball, South Dakota, had a cow sale on Tuesday. They sold fancy bred heifers from 2275 to 2500. Uh, they sold older bred cows, I mean short and solid mouth to aged cows from 1475 to 1550. They sold their slaughter cows from 83 to 93 with high dressing cows up to 106. And then they had several of those heiferettes uh, that had either uh, 
didn't get bread, showed up uh, open, lost a calf, sloughed a calf or something like that. Always big demand for those up there where they have the high quality cattle. They sold up to 132. But the most impressive quote that I saw anywhere on Tuesday, your Macrosin, no BS, top quote for the day, come out of Green City Livestock Marketing. It was 61 steers, weighed 822 pounds at 244.50. We haven't heard that for a while. Have a happy Thanksgiving.